Hello everyone. Um, today is Saturday, almost Sunday. The reason I'm making a video now is because I won't be able to make a video next week. Uh, next week I'll be with my girlfriend. Uh, I should have kept the hat on. Uh, okay, anyways. Um, I'm not going to be able to make a video on Monday. So I'm making a video now just to get it out of the way so I don't feel bad for not uploading. Um, before I really get into this video... Uh, I made a Facebook page, um, so follow me on there, you can message me, uh, so far I've responded to everybody that has messaged me on there, um, so if you ever feel like asking me anything, that is the best way to do so, not on Snapchat because, you know, it's, the message disappears and I'm rarely on Snapchat anyways, <clears throat> but I still could try to respond to everyone on Snapchat, um, so follow me on all my social medias, those will be down in the description below. Uh, this video is about what keeps me motivated. Having such an awful illness. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot, sorry about that. I'm not in a very like good mood or so, uh, stuff like that. But what keeps me motivated in life itself, or what keeps me motivated to make videos, what makes me motivated to live. <laughs> um, I don't really know. There's so many things that keep me motivated, right? Uh, for, I know a lot of people don't have it very easy. You know, I didn't have it very easy for a long time. What keeps me motivated is life itself. Uh, Life is the most beautiful thing in the world to me. All life. Not just human life, you know. Every single life on this planet, and in our solar system, on our, in our galaxy, all the life out there. Uh, not just life here. The most fascinating thing with me is I love so much just to ponder and to think about life elsewhere in the universe. It gives me so much joy and it just fills me with so much excitement to maybe find life somewhere else in the universe. A lot of people don't really, I don't think, know this about me, but I am a fanatic when it comes to science, when it comes to physics, when it comes to evolution, pretty much all science. Space science is most interesting to me. Um, I love it so much. When I see a galaxy, for example, or I see a star, anything like that, black hole, anything, it just fills me with so much joy. It makes me smile, even thinking about it. I think that's always been my calling, because ever since I was little, I loved science. I loved planets. I loved everything about it. And I, I have the mind that's very creative. And that's very... I'm thinking a lot. Thinking about things that have not been told or think about things that are just not something a person thinks about, you know? Ever since I was probably 10, 11, 12, I wanted to be a physics professor. I don't know why. Uh, I think that would just be the most amazing job for me. All that stuff keeps me motivated. That stuff right there, that keeps me motivated. I l just, it just, when I look outside at like 5 a.m., right, as of right now, you can see Jupiter and Saturn around 5 a.m. And I don't know. It just, it's just something else to me. It's the most beautiful thing in the world to me. Um, seeing Venus. I saw Venus for the first time in, like, forever, and holy shit, it's every, t every day I, I go outside to look at Venus, the most beautiful planet, and it is the brightest thing in our, in our, like, it's the brightest thing, and it blows my mind. The first time I saw it, I was like, holy, oh, is that, that's not Venus, is it? That's so bright. Well, Venus is only, like, 30 miles, 30 million miles away from us, Jupiter's, like, 
365 million miles away when it's the f closest to us. So I'm, I'm rambling now on just stuff I love. But anyways, talking about stuff more that motivates me. Um, knowing how much I help people. Knowing how much I inspire people. Knowing how much I help people. It's just the most satisfying feeling in the world. Knowing I've reached hundreds of thousands of people. And they have loved me. They give me no hate. And they're so excited to see a new video that I make. And my production is not very um, extreme. My video making skills aren't very good. I don't edit. Which I think is a good thing. Editing is a good thing. I mean, not a good thing. At least to me. Um, to keep it real. I, li I love keeping it real. And I love keeping it... I just love keeping it real. You know? I don't hide around. I don't like... Uh, hide things from people. I don't do that kind of stuff. I love everybody to know exactly what is going on. Unless it's a little too personal. Then I can't do that. But, uh... Knowing how much I help people with putting not very much effort in. Uh, that holds a spot in my heart. It makes me happy that people come to me and they ask, ask for advice or they ask for help. And I help them. That is rare in itself. You can have psychiatrists who... Well, I'm not a professional. I'm just someone who's living with schizophrenia, living with generalized anxiety disorder, living with a panic disorder, living with a mood disorder. That's just how my life is. And I don't look at it as negative. That's another problem people have. They look at all these things as negative. There's a lot of negative in it, and... Uh, but that's what you can't, you can't focus on that. You can't focus on the negative of that. Um, the thing I learned most about myself is happiness is the most important thing to me. Now I know you cannot be happy all the time, obviously. You can't be happy, but I strive for finding that thing that makes me happy and I strive for doing things that make me happy. That's the thing I learned most about myself in those four years I was by myself since all I had was myself. No other people, except for my parents. There's a lot of things you can learn about this planet, life, and everything when you are by yourself for four years. And that's all you're thinking about. It's, uh, it's fascinating. And I wouldn't have changed it. I wouldn't have changed it. I wouldn't want that changed. It has made me who I am. And it has made me a pretty awesome person. It has made me who I am. Uh, and that is one of the most beautiful things. I have matured in such a way with my mind that blows my mind. Because I was so much different when I was like 13, 14. Uh, and then when I went into a hiatus, I turned into a... I don't even know. I honestly don't know. Wise person, I guess. Um, you can learn a lot when you're by yourself for so long, having no human interaction. You learn a lot. Now, I'm not saying do that because it's not fun. It's not something uh, you want to do. It's not something anybody would want to do. It's not very good for you. It's not good for your brain. It's not good for life. It's not good for your life. But, uh... I look at everything as very positive. You know, if I didn't have this illness, what would I be? Now when I look to see who I would be without this illness, I dislike that. I dislike what I would be like. I would dislike it so much, and I wouldn't be happy. But these things make you into a certain person. They turn you into a wiser, um, paranoid uh, person. 
and that's fascinating to me. Um, the things I love now, I loved back then, kind of, not really, I was so much different back then. But now I'm just the person that I want to be for the rest of my life. Added with a bunch of things, a bunch, bunch of things, um, figuring out things. That's the thing, that's the, that's stuff I love most, is learning and figuring out things. Um, and that's, basically what I'm saying is, what would keep you motivated, or people motivated, is to not focus on all the negatives in your life. Try not to think about it. Focus on what you love doing. Focus on just happiness. It's very hard to find happiness. It's very hard to be happy, let alone. Um, but I think that's what everybody strives for. Everybody strives for happiness, but they don't know how to find it. Obviously, ha being happy is a lot harder than it seems to be. It's extremely difficult and it will take some time. It will take a lot of a lot out of you to be able to find what you love, be able to have a routine of what you love doing and all of that. Mine is just learning. Learning, reading, just figuring out things. I have so much knowledge for someone my age. I know so much stuff, it's ridiculous. It even, it blows everyone's mind. My parents are always like, holy, you just know everything. Like, what don't you know? And that's a nice feeling, is knowing so much, having so much knowledge about life, the universe, the planets, life elsewhere, um, stars, galaxies, black holes, everything. Those are my interests. Everybody needs to find their interests. So, that's about it for this video. I hope everybody enjoyed. Um, I'll see you guys, uh, not this upcoming Monday, but the next Monday. Um, follow me on all my social medias. Uh, follow my Facebook page. And I will see you guys, mm, not this Monday, next Monday. Bye.